Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brandon Havrilla from Red Max Events. Today we're doing a Photoshop tutorial on how to create a YouTube thumbnail similar to this right here with a cutout person, some text, and a background. So what you're going to want to do is create a new file in Photoshop. Under the pixel size, you're going to want to make it 1280 by 720. You can change the resolution to 72 if it does not default to it. Go ahead and click Create. Now you're going to have your blank template here. It's going to start with a white background. You could always unlock and get rid of that. I'm going to drag in a background that I just got here off Google Images. So it's a cool honeycomb effect. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And I actually don't want it to be, you can see it's a little grainy and pixely. It's not super high res. So I'm going to actually bring back the white layer behind it. And I'm going to change the opacity of this and bring it down so it's just a slight shimmer in the back but add some texture. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I have a folder here on my desktop where I have a few things such as the Photoshop logo. I also have a picture of me with a background. What I'm gonna do is select this quick selection tool over here right above the crop tool and start selecting my person. Now you'll notice it does a pretty good job of automatically grabbing the person um, and this is one of the easier methods to do this, but there are other methods if you're trying to cut out a specific product or person or shape out of another picture um, and kind of give it a transparent background. But what I'm going to do is just kind of come down here and make sure I have everything from my sweatshirt selected. And you'll notice it does kind of round these corners. So I'm going to want to come in here now and hold option. And you'll notice the plus goes from a minus on my tool which now means I'm getting rid of certain areas. So I'm just gonna go in and kind of fine tune this and I'll speed this up. All right, so that's looking pretty good. It's pretty close and you could spend a lot of time to really perfect this crop if you'd like. And this isn't just a tutorial for YouTube thumbnails. You could really use this for anything. I use this to make my Photoshop templates for my photo booths. I also use this to make my podcast thumbnails, my Facebook cover photos, LinkedIn cover photos, everything like that. So once you have it all selected, go ahead and right click anywhere inside the selection and choose layer via copy. You'll notice it creates a new layer over here that is actually just the person itself. So if I get rid of this background, you'll see I'm now cropped out. If you don't want the background anymore, you could delete that you can grab you as a separate cropped object and throw it around. So what I'm gonna do is put me over here and then I'm gonna go ahead and put Photoshop kind of right in the center here. Now to make Photoshop look a little more uh, like a part of the picture, I'm gonna go down to effects and select drop shadow. And you'll notice drop shadow is gonna put a kind of glow around it and you could adjust the spread which is gonna be the sharpness around it. So I'm gonna bring that all the way down I'm also going to bring the opacity up and I'm going to bring it down a little bit actually just to kind of soften it up. I just want it to look like it's kind of popping off the page. So that looks pretty good to me. Now in terms of my person, I want to kind of match the color to this Photoshop. So that's real easy to do. Go to effects, choose outer glow. I'm going to change the opacity a little bit and the size. And when I click the color, I can then come over and match this Photoshop color. Click OK. And you'll notice it will readjust to match the Photoshop. I'm going to come in and play with these settings a little bit more. Just kind of giving it a cool effect. Now what I'm going to do is add the title of this video. So I'm going to come up here and select the color to be the same teal color. And I'm going to name this YouTube Thumbnail. And then I'm going to create another one after I get this the way I want it to look that says Photoshop tutorial. So I'm going to choose a different font. I want something I think a little more bold. Um, let's see. I think something like this will work. And I'm actually going to get rid of thumbnail for now and give each word its own line. So I'm going to do YouTube. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm doing that by holding option while I drag. I'm going to do thumbnail and then I'm going to 
click and drag one more time and instead of writing Photoshop I'm just gonna do tutorial and I'm actually gonna use the Photoshop logo to represent the word Photoshop so I'm gonna put tutorial down here make the Photoshop logo a little bit smaller and make these a little bit bigger so I'm gonna just select all of them so that I can do them all at the same time Perfect, select, bring thumbnail down, select tutorial on YouTube, and bring YouTube down as well. And I think I actually might go with an outer glow instead. And if I do an outer glow, I can kind of change the color maybe to this black change the opacity, bring that up. And I'm going to do the same to all of these, add an outer glow, and add an outer glow. I'm going to drag in some markers just to mark my edges, so I can really focus on centering these. Okay, now that's pretty good. I think I might come over here, get rid of the outer glow, and do something slightly different. Um, so let me see, maybe I'll add some shapes in this same color to kind of tie it together. Put this on more of a diagonal, like so, and move this behind me, just like that. And I think I'm just gonna make it a little steeper and a little bigger like that and I just want to add a second one so if I just duplicate this right and I offset it a little bit I can choose the one that's in the back that's bigger and just change the color to black um, if I come in here I could do a color overlay and make it black Perfect, I'm gonna make it a little smaller just to kind of match the thickness of these. So I'm just gonna slide it back a little bit, just like so, and there we go. So there's my thumbnail. Uh, very easy, very basic tutorial, uh, but this is actually the thumbnail for this video, so you guys got to see it and click on it. But this is how to create something very similar to this for your YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did in any way, just leave a thumbs up down below. If you have any questions or ideas for future YouTube tutorials, feel free to leave them down below. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for another one.